Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to oil and oil and gas training. Welcome to our uh, valve video part number five. In this video, we are discussing about uh, check valve. Check valve means uh, non-return valves. These are uh, a special category of valve, uh, providing one directional flow, preventing uh, uh, back pressure, etc., etc. Many peculiarity uh, characteristics are there and many properties are there many a, a special type of valve <clears throat> let us see how this valve is uh, uh, classified definition classification and uh, uh, various application where we are using this one type of valve etc welcome to this video check valve or non retain valve check valves are known as non retain valves are automatic uh, valves that prevent a retain or reverse flow of the process. So it is a non-retain valve, only one direct providing one directional flow, only one directional flow or changing the direction of the flow. And automatic valves that prevent a retain, it always preventing a retain means it will prevent the back flow, reverse flow of the process. This is the picture you can see here, see here only. Uh, one 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 side it will open and the see the uh, in this one this is the check valve uh, closing and opening element and it will open in the flow in the one direction it will open and opposite time coming and it will close that one so check valves are unique that uh, they do not require an outside power supply or signal so it's an automatic valve and there is no handle there is no uh, operation element or the, it is not receiving a signal from outside so it's automatically working the mechanism is inside itself check valves so operation is depend dependent upon the flow direction of the process that is very important flow direction of the process which may be created by a pump or pressure drop it's okay fine that is the upstream uh, either pump or the higher pressure the flow is creating <clears throat> Some more information on check valve's uh, definition side, basic information. If the flow stops or if pressure condition change, that the flow begins move backward, the check valve closer element moves with the reverse flow until it is seated, preventing any backward flow. That is important. See, you can see from this uh, picture here. So, one directional flow, the one direction it is opening that uh, it is lifting the closing element and opening element and uh, flow is going and when the uh, downstream pressure getting more and the flow is getting to reverse, then uh, the closer element is uh, blocking the um, path of the flow and preventing the back flow. That is very important. And check valve here, you can see that one check valve picture. The check valve remains closed until a positive flow direction is again achieved. When a, uh, uh, suction pressure is or upstream pressure is uh, getting better and better, then uh, it will open more. At which time uh, it opens with the flow reduction and remain open as long as the flow continues. So this is the simple definition of check valves. Check valve application coming. Uh, Check valve are used in two main purpose. This is the picture of that one. First to prevent the backflow and second to maintain pressure. Two important uh, uses are there for check valve. Prevent the backflow and maintain the pressure. Check valves are often installed in a process system to maintain pressure in a line after a system pump has stopped or failed. Check valve are often installed in a process system to maintain pressure in a lane system pump has stopped or failed so in a case of pump is stopped or process is suddenly stopped it's to maintain the back pressure or maintain the pressure in the system and prevent the back flow check valves are uh, using check valves are also important in correct function of compressors and the reciprocating pump so another c always preventing uh, back pressure and maintaining the uh, discharge pressure properly check valves are using in compressors and reciprocating pump uh, please visit your field and uh, when those who are working in the field visit there and see that one compressor discharge line and centrifugal pump or reciprocating pump discharge line 
see a check valve or various check valves and identify that what how it is marking in p and id this will be very important check valves may be a requirement for secondary system where pressure can exceed that of a primary system see another application uh, in some process requirement is there secondary application uh, where the primary system is exceeding so some uh, maintaining the pressure they also prevent any damage associated with the reversal of rotary pump and compressor see rotating equipment always preventing the back pressure and so prevent the internals they associated that one so these are the main application many other applications as well but these are the main application of check valves <clears throat> generally check valves are can be check valves can be used in both horizontal and vertical pipeline although the use of a typical check valves in a vertical pipeline require a spring to close the closure element since the gravity has a minimal effect so uh, mainly in the vert, uh, horizontal line it is uh, check valve can use but in the uh, vertical line we need a spring system uh, to open and come back like that one so in that case uh, piston type poppet and ball uh, ball type or disc type we can use that one in vertical pipeline flow must always rise up under the closure element otherwise check valve would have to have enough pressure to reversal to lift the closure element into the seated position against its weight which is unlikely most normally because of the spring load it will lift and suddenly come back in that method in vertical system so common mainly using in horizontal system although the principle of operation check valve type we can discuss although the principle of operation is very similar uh, opening uh, to one directional flow and preventing back flow but a wide variety of check valves design exist one is a lift check valve uh, some uh, uh, information detail information we will provide in uh, coming slide so you can see here in the picture is a lift check valve lift, lift check valve uses a free moving closure element similar to here the free moving closure element globe valve plug uh, remember that one you have uh, we have already discussed about the plug valve manual plug valve so just to have a look that one the same concept is here manual plug head without a stem that is placed above the seat this is a seat so this is a lift check valve and uh, other one is a sink check valve that is a most commonly using one uh, sink check valve uses a hinged closure element that is similar to a common door arrangement where the hinged area is located outside the seating area see you can see here this is the hinged area when the inlet is uh, pressure is more in the uh, suction side or uh, uh, higher pressure side so it will open and uh, releasing and uh, flow is continuing here so this is the other picture and this is the detailed picture of uh, swing check wall so one is lift check wall one one is swing check wall two more more are there uh, let us see that one tilting disc check valve has a closer element you can see here tilting disc check valve uh, much like a butterfly disc that has two pivot point located each side of the seat here it is uh, the pivoting is here and it will lifting here the open and the closer condition of tilting disc check valve and other one is splitted uh, another version of the uh, tilting disc is a split disc it is door open like uh, split disc check valve uses uh, two half circle disc here you can see that one hinged together and that fold upon a positive flow retract a full circle to stop reverse flow you can see from here that one so both are available then uh, one more is there diaphragm check valve you say preformed elastom uh, elastomeric closure element that open with a upstream flow and retain to its preformed closure shape when the flow reverse you can see here flow is open flow is open here and the flow is closed so this is a diaphragm check valve diaphragm check valve can also use as in asymmetric diaphragm that forms against the seat near the seat it can form like that one so we will take uh, uh, this uh, various check valves uh, some details we will check that one little bit uh, details we will check uh, what are the information available different type of check valves are available for 
based on various design application one is a piston type check wall uh, it is coming in the lift lift type check wall that is a basic classification lift type check wall in that one we have a piston type this is the piston so piston type check wall is there another one is a plug type the closure element is a plug type either it is a piston type then the third type is a poppet type see this is the poppet type poppet type so three type of uh, uh, main variation is uh, coming under lift type check valve is one is uh, uh, piston type and uh, another one is uh, plug type and the third one is uh, poppet type so just to have a look mechanical workshop if you can visit mechanical workshop and see the any check check valve is open and assembled there and uh, uh, disassembled there and you see that one of the opening element is and uh, gain more information of uh, check walls then another category is the main classification uh, swing check wall one of the more simple check walls design is the swing check wall which is uses a hinged door here it is there hinged door uh, to open during a positive flow and close again to pressure reversal you can see from here very clear that one open and closed position the closure element is normally a rounded disc and seat which can be a separate part of uh, integral to the body so the closure element is a normal round of a disc and seat which can be a separate part of the integral to the body a sink check wall information when the pressure upstream pressure p1 upstream pressure means this pressure exceed the downstream pressure p2 the flow moves through the seat and against the disc causing it move the same direction of flow like this one the flow will continue as the positive flow increases the flow pushes the disc further away uh, uh, from the flow path until the disc is nearly out of the flow stream so it will be fully open and 100% flow will be maintained and as flow lessens flow means lessens and decreases the weight of the disc allows it to drop until the drag of the flow and prevents it from traveling any further so it will back pressure will come and it will close back to its original position when the flow decreases or stop if the flow stops the weight of the disc allows it to drop down until its seating surface make a contact with the seat so you will get a tight seating and not preventing any black back flow to the upstream side the next category tilting disc is almost like a swing check wall but minor differences are there similar to some respect to swing check wall the tilting disc check wall uses a pivoting disc that is important pivoting disc as the closure element except the pivot point is roughly through the center of the disc instead of above the disc so here the pivoting disc center of the disc here you can see that one pivoting in many respect the flow design criteria of an eccentric disc in a high performance butterfly wall if you remember that one in our previous session of manual wall butter, uh, butterfly wall in and the eccentric type so almost the same concept of uh, uh, this one is in tilting disc check wall the chief advantage of tilting disc check wall is it is speed of the closer quickly it can close since the disc requires very little travel to close some tilting check walls uh, disc check walls are designed at least the seat is 45 degree that is important quickly uh, 45 degree angle and so that the disc is only 45 percentage from the seat at uh, the open position which allows much faster operation that is very important for tilting disc check wall Tilting disc check walls are normally used in large water line uh, up to 48 inch line and are rarely seen in lives below 4 inch. So it is a large application in the large diameter water line. They are rated to lower pressure classification NSI classes 125 to 150 PSI. La, one more uh, check valve is there double disc check valve i told you that in earlier it is a like a half circle door the double disc check valve uses half two half sphere disc and a connecting hinge to create a closure element that closes collapse when positive flow exists and fold back to a full circular disc when flow reverses 
it is also known as a split disc or wafer wafer i don't know it may be the word is water check valve or wafer i don't know the correct word it is check valve i will check it that one generally a double disc check valve valves are popular because of their low cost and minimal sales that is one advantage of that one their chief disadvantage is poor sealability of low back pressure situation so that is a main disadvantage when it is closing 100% and the back flow leaking or passing is there so that is a one disadvantage you can hear the closing condition and a partially open condition also the unsealed joint between two half disc allows some back flow to move through the closure element when it is in the closed position that is also another disadvantage double disc check valves are found in size of 2 inch to 36 inch Uh, in nsi nsi pressure classes 150 through uh, 600 larger sizes uh, and higher sizes are available in nsi class 150 psi double disc check valves when upstream up, 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 upstream pressure uh, is higher than the downstream pressure uh, so the positive flow pushes uh, against the half door when the pressure differential exceed the spring force the door open and then the flow continue to open wider the flow increases as flow lessens the spring action begin to force half disc uh, backward uh, back toward their closed position as the reverse flow continues to build in strength and shut off improves last uh, last uh, check valve is coming into this class is a diaphragm type the diaphragm type check valve is one of more simple check valve design using a preformed elastomeric sleeve that open to allow positive flow yet retains its preformed shape when reverse the flow occurs a different check valves are ideal process with low pressure drop less than 150 psi or 10 bar and for moderate temperature less than 160 degree fahrenheit different check valves uh, it work better than most check valves in slurries or liquid that contain particulate matter you can see the picture here different check valves are available nearly all pipe size and low pressure classes nsi class 150 or smaller in static flow condition the diaphragm sleeve remains its preformed static state the lip touching and no gap between the sleeve as substream pressure increases causing a pressure differential the flow moves through the sleeve by separating payable uh, slip lips and uh, as flow the continues to increase the gap open until it eventually reaches the maximum opening so when the pressure is uh, upstream pressure is getting better when uh, closure closure is very quick although water hammer is usually avoided because the diaphragm sleeve has a tendency to absorb any shock associated with a sudden closure so another advantage is that water hammering will be less or avoided in this one and fast closing is possible in uh, diaphragm check valves so next coming videos are uh, on uh, some more information valves are pending a special type of valve which is coming on pressure safety valve you can see the picture here more information you can wait for that one on my next video then uh, later uh, control valves is the most important valve using in a process industry control valves that is also coming in the valve group in my coming videos thanks for watching this video uh, have a good day and please join our telegram channel infos by hamsa baba or various update we are posting and we are posting a regular uh, middle east job opportunities are there and suitable and potential very good job opportunities are we are posting there kindly request you to uh, subscribe this channel so you will get information if you are looking a better job position so thanks for watching this video have a good day